Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today I'm going to show you how to make your own element cards. We are using Christian Kids Explore Chemistry for our elementary chemistry this year and one of the activities mentioned in the book is to get some 3 by 5 cards and to write down uh, certain things. For example, you want the chemical symbol. For example, with this hydrogen, it's an H and then you put the word hydrogen above it and then the atomic number and the atomic weight. So if you do this little by little over the course of the year, you can have a whole pack of cards. Now you don't have to do every single card. You could have just the most common ones to uh, use and to quiz each other with. But if you do that for every single element, you can actually spread it all out uh, like the periodic table as a puzzle. Take a look at that activity. Here we have all the element cards um, put out like a puzzle. And so it can be fun if you decide to do a card for every single element, which you don't need to do. But if you choose to do that, uh, a fun thing that you can have your kids do is to put it all together like a puzzle like this. Now, uh, one of the tip-offs of how to do it easily is to look at what the atomic number is. For example, uh, the atomic number for hydrogen is one, okay, so, and then um, the atomic number for helium is number two over here. Okay, atomic number is the number of protons in an element, okay? So the number of protons inside that nucleus is that atomic number. Now the atomic weight is the protons plus the neutrons because what's inside the center of that atom is, is what the uh, mass is, is what the weight of that whole atom is because the electrons are so uh, tiny, zooming around, and, um, and so they're almost weightless uh, compared to the nucleus. Okay, so, um, so then number three is lithium over here, okay, and then number four is beryllium. Okay, and so you go across like this. So what I'm saying is that like the atomic number is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, see? So if you look at the atomic numbers of each of the elements, uh, it's easier than to set it up. Okay, so that's a tip off for that. Now I color coded these cards, okay? All the reds are non-metals, okay? So the red ones are non-metals and then all the others are metals okay so we have the green ones which are the standard metals the uh, yellow ones are the transition metals and the brown ones are the inner transition metals okay so all of the periodic table is metals except for the ones that are in red, okay? For example, oxygen is not a metal, obviously. Nitrogen, carbon, all these are not metals. Okay, another thing that you can do with these fun cards is you can um, test each other on the symbol for each, um, you know, the chemical symbol for each element, okay? So, uh, you, if you have the stack of cards, you can ask somebody, what is the chemical symbol for nickel? And they would say N-I, okay? Or, you could show them N-I from far away and then they have to figure out what uh, the element is. So that's interesting too. If you want to learn atomic numbers, you could do that too. Atomic weight kind of gets more complicated um, and some of them have uh, very specific atomic weights that are uh, much larger than their atomic numbers. So um, anyways, this is one way that you can use element cards in your home school to learn about the periodic table. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our Make Your Own Element Cards.